for more than a year and a half, our people in Eastern Province are waiting for the foundation of this project. We acknowledge that it hasn't been a smooth drive to get to the point of Nandawa. For this, we are invited to stay here. However, today is a moment to lament how much quicker things may have been, but allow the people of the province to save the moment. Looking at this facility that was rehabilitated at the cost of $300,000, we must also state here that when we read in the press a figure of $300,000 is always imagination. But what is important is the scope of work. Looking around the upgraded facility, we are extremely proud that the people of this same province have a facility that can proudly host Premier League games as well as international matches. I am happy that later this afternoon we will have an opportunity to experience the hosting of the first match since the rehabilitation of the stadium. We hope that the facility will be well taken care of by the community to ensure its longevity. It remains our desire to bring at least an international match here for our junior teams as part of giving other provinces outside Lusaka and the Copper Belt an opportunity to host international games where the soccer fans will have a chance to see their world favorite players. Guests of honor, sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our sincere gratitude goes to FIFA for having accepted our application for the funds to rehabilitate four provincial stadiums, namely Eastern, BA, today, Solozi, which is northwestern, Kasama in North, Northern Province, and Kaua in Wapur, as well as the funds accommodation center in Lusaka. The funds used to renovate the stadium come from a program called Forward Development. A program initiated by FIFA to assist its 211 members to develop their football. It is therefore expected that this facility, which has been renovated through the collaboration of the Football Association of Zambia, the government of Zambia, and the provincial government will benefit the football community to a large extent in the sense that they will have a facility at which measures can be staged. On behalf of the FIFA president, I want to applaud the Football Association of Zambia for taking the decision to utilize part of its funds in this manner. A manner in which FIFA has no doubt will benefit the communities in which these facilities are located. It is therefore a big day for Zambia football a big day for FIFA that the first of the five facilities which are going, which are undergoing renovation is being handed over for use by the respective people that have been meant to benefit. I'm very, very happy that today we are able to come in Chipata and before you to commission this important infrastructure. To the first president, I still want to say that our pledge to add more resources to this infrastructure remains very, very active. Because we know that we need to put up a target track so that our assets should be using the running track or the tatan track. So definitely government remains the 
the government remains very active in mobilizing resources so that we can actualize our objective. Indeed, I want also to agree with you that our local contractors, if they want to retain that, that confidence, there is need for them to be along with us in terms of the, our three pronouncements that we pronounced ourselves to, especially on the issue of quality, delivering on time, and indeed cost effective. I'm happy that the President of us has mentioned these important issues. Thank you very much uh, again, FIFA, sorry, not FIFA President, but Vice President, for recognizing that what you are wearing is FIFA forward. And all of us will believe in forward. And forward thinking indeed. So thank you very much for recognizing that important aspect.